Okay, now the next step is to be able to take a Blu-ray disc that you've purchased because otherwise it wouldn't be right to do this and then make a backup copy of it by converting it into an MKV so that you can play it back through Windows Media Player without having to use the disc. So the software I use to do that is Make MKV. So here's the search. And click on this link. And that takes us to the Make MKV beta page. So we click on the download Make MKV for Windows. And the setup comes in. On that. Okay, now it's installed. I had purchased a license key for Make MKV, and now I'm going to open the application. And I believe that symbol enter my registration code click OK and restart the application and I like to pin it to the taskbar I can easily use it and then get, I'll get rid of that desktop icon later. Now I'll go ahead and change some preferences. I'm going to change the default destination for the MKV video being created to T because I have that as my map drive on the sand where I keep the videos. And I'm going to define the title length, minimum title length at 600 seconds. I'm not really interested in anything other than full movies, so any clips that are less than 10 minutes in length are surely not of any interest to me. That's all I care to change there. Now I'm ready to start backing up Blu-ray disc.